A trial simulating the actual operation of a fully autonomous ship was conducted from February 26th through March 1st of 2022. The route covered the 790 kilometer round trip between Tokyo Bay and Ise Bay. The route included some of the world's most congested maritime areas, such as the Uraga Channel and the Urago Channel. This project was motivated by the fact that 70 to 80 percent of maritime accidents are caused by human error, as well as the issue of crew shortages resulting from the shrinking labor force. The DFAS project began in 2020 as part of the Nippon Foundation's Meguri 2040 Fully Autonomous Ship Program. Thirty companies from a diverse array of fields, including the maritime industry, weather information, and telecommunication, developed technology for the project within an open innovation framework. The DFAS project developed a comprehensive system that covers all of the functions needed for fully autonomous ships. The three main components are the onboard navigation system that controls autonomous functions, the onshore system with remote navigation and engine malfunction warning functions for supporting the autonomous ship, and the telecommunication system connecting the ship with shore. The shoreside fleet operations center is a distinctive element of the DFAS project. The integrated display block monitors the ship's condition and displays information needed for safe and efficient navigation. When the onboard or telecommunication systems malfunction, the onshore captain moves to the emergency response block to operate the ship remotely. The monitors display video showing 360 degrees around the ship. Remote ship operations are supported by the latest technology, including a 3D display function to check the position relative to other ships. Next is the onboard navigation system. Identifying obstacles, like other ships, is essential for the navigation of fully autonomous ships. These radars use three different frequency bands, and they make it possible to ascertain the location of reefs and other ships with greater accuracy. This is the Advanced Routing, Simulation, and Planning System, which models the feelings of ship operators based on extensive navigational records. Ningendeu the system automatically finds a collision avoidance plan in response to obstacles and graphs the most desirable navigation plan. Start calculation. Route submitted. Furthermore, this project required additional functions and new technology development. Take the dynamic positioning system as an example. Originally, this system was developed to maintain a ship's position at sea, but this project also used DPS to enter and leave ports and navigate at low speeds. Finally, the telecommunication system. This project developed a mechanism that automatically switches from LTE when the ship is near land to satellite communication as it moves away from shore. The server equipment developed for each system was installed in a container in December of 2021, and the domestic coastal container ship, Suzaku, was modified to take the containers on board. Under calculating. The 
trial began after approximately two years of preparation. Start calculation. Route accepted. The DFIS project is ultimately aiming for the social implementation of fully autonomous ships. In order to make this possible, laws, rules, Freight charges and insurance costs need to be taken into consideration. This first step towards social implementation involved a national effort in concert with the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, the Japan Coast Guard, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, insurance companies, classification societies and think tanks. <laughs> あの今の子供たち、あと20年したら30代メインでもしかすると無人化を使う世代になってくるかもしれませんので、この子たちに今からこの技術というものを分かっておいてもらう。我々の取り組みを通じて未来を担う子供たち、若い技術者、これらの方